guys, welcome back to Fight Creek Digital, and in today's video, we are going to go over how to make the doodle mushrooms in Inkscape. Um, this is kind of a part two uh, to the video I made earlier this week, uh, where I showed you how to make the doodle font, and it's a very similar process, and I'm going to show you three easy ways of making the mushrooms. And basically there are three different looks you can see it here i'm going to go from easiest to a little bit more difficult okay so let's get going all right let's zoom out let's just get this out of the way and then we'll do it how about that okay um i already have my document properties set to 3600 width and height and pixels uh, I have this unclick where it's always on top. We'll close this out. And we are going to start off with the easy method of making the mushrooms. And I actually found a free SVG file that you can edit. Um, it's a little bit, looks a little bit different than the mushrooms that I had, but this is going to be your easiest option. Okay, and I'm going to have the link to the uh, download in the description, so make sure to check that out. And let's go to it. Let's see. I have it in my downloads folder. Mushroom. And this little window is going to pop up. And you're just going to hit OK. And it brings in your little SVG mushroom. Alright, now to edit this, you're just going to have to go to Ungroup. Which you right click. Go down to Ungroup. And now you can edit each pieces of this mushroom. So say you wanted to have the main section of your mushroom this pink color like I had to go with the font. Oh and I'll have a link um, pop up somewhere to show you the video I did uh, before for the doodle font. If you want to check that out before you learn how to do the mushrooms. But it's all the same method. Alright, so now that we have the color that we want, I'm going to change the uh, stroke size on this, and I'm probably going to change the color of the bottom of the mushroom just to match better. And a little highlight, we'll change it. This actually comes with little highlights, which is cute, but I think I'm going to edit it some up here to our full stroke. And let's bring the opacity down just a little bit on that highlight. You just do that here when you go to Fill and Stroke tab. And down here you can have this little opacity and you can have your dragged bar. Put a little plus and minus, whichever way you want to do it. I'm just going to fill it. Alright, so since we're in here, let's go ahead and change our stroke size. This SVG just comes with a, 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 a thicker outline or stroke. So we just need to make it a little smaller. But you could leave it that way if you wanted to. And let's see. This is actually, you could take that off because that's cute too. Or you can leave it on whichever way you want to. Let's, let's try about three. Yeah, that's, that's a lot better. That's probably what this one is. That's about 2.4. Let's change it to 3. Okay, perfect. Alright, let's go up here to our selector tool and we are going to duplicate. Try to grab. Ah, it's not my key. There we go. Okay, we're going to duplicate the top part of our mushroom uh, because we need to do the little broken lines to make it look more like a doodle. So to do that, we're just going to duplicate it, and I'm going to go down here, I'm going to turn off the fill, we're just going to go right here to this X, and it's just going to leave us with the stroke, okay? I'm going to go back up here to our stroke tile, now it may look different, you may be on the wrong tab, you have fill, stroke paint, stroke, stroke style, uh, just make sure you're in stroke style to change these settings. Alright, so dashes, 
is where you're going to go and click on the drop down box. And then this is the one that I like to use, is pattern 24. Now if you can't figure out which one I'm clicking on, just click on any of them. And then go right here to pattern and put 24. Okay, let's sync that back. Let's make it a little smaller because we want it just kind of on the outline here. Already looking super cute. Okay, let's duplicate this one. And duplicate this one. Okay, we're basically going to do the same thing. I'm just going to do it to both of them at the same time, okay? Um, we're going to have to lower the width on this one just to get it to look right. And let's get rid of our fill. Go down here to the X. Right. Make it a little smaller so it fits inside a little square. Now, I don't know if you can see here, it's above the top of the mushroom. We just need to go up here to our layering tools and keep hitting a lower selection one step just to get it behind your little mushroom. Okay, or your mushroom top. Do the same for this one, just make it a little smaller. Put it inside of your little mushroom stem and then start lowering it back to get it behind everything else, okay? And your little um, highlight, lower it behind the little dual breakups, okay? And this too, make sure it is on top of your highlight, okay it is. All right, there we go. Now you have all your little dual lines. You're gonna click up here in no man's land, drag down, group. Oh, also, if you wanted to, you can change the size of your little dots if you wanted to. Um, so let's see now. Let's, oh, got to do our squiggly. So we go over here to the little pencil tool is what I call it, but it's the draw freehand lines. You click on it. And you're going to make sure it is on create regular bezier path, smoothing 29, and shape 9. So we're just going to kind of start doing little zigzags to get our wiggle, our wiggle lines. So, uh, don't forget we have to change our dashes back to a normal straight dash. And we're going to need to up our width some to make it thicker. Oh, and our opacity is down because we lowered it long ago. So once we have that all correct, got our little wiggly mark. We're just going to place it, turn it the way we want, duplicate it, place it somewhere else, and then come wherever you want to. Uh, you double click. If you do that and you get all these little nodes, it's fine. Go up here to your select. If you triple click on an item, it'll bring up your nodes. Uh, just go over here to your select tool to get it off of that. And double click to get your rotating arrows. And we can duplicate, bring it down here, rotate, and there you go. Cute little mushroom, or doodle mushroom. All right, so that's your first first uh, method, super easy. Okay, now let's go to the second method, which is another easy method, and that's going to be this one here, super easy. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to our circles, okay? And it's probably, yours is probably going to be set to just a regular circle right here, okay? So when you have that, you're going to hold shift and control, and you're just going to drag out to get the perfect circle shape, okay? Now the easiest way to get this to look like a mushroom is you can go up here to start, highlight it, and put in 180 and hit enter. And there you go, we have a perfect mushroom top. All right, let's make it bigger so you can see. Now let's do the bottom. I'm just gonna go to the squares right here. And again, you just click in no man's land, drag out your rectangle. All right, go back up here to your selector tool. Let's just delete this one. Kind of get it the size you want. 
Okay. And then we are going to back up here to our square and round out the bottom here. See how it rounds it out? All you have to do is click on this little circle, drag it down. Okay, it's going to be that rounded bottom. Alright. Now, to get this to kind of come in some, to look more like a mushroom, we are going to go up here to Path, Object to Path, and then we're going to go over here to our Nodes tool. And now we have these little nodes. I'm going to basically in No Man's Land again and select these two nodes. Let's zoom in. Okay. And we're just going to use our arrow key and we're going to go in with it. Just to give it a little bit of an angle to make it not look so square. I'm going to do it again to the other side and bring that in. Okay. And there you go. Looks a little bit more like a little mushroom stem now. Alright, so let's get uh we'll, we'll actually we'll go ahead and do this. Well, let's change the, the stroke size first because it's a little too big. So let's go over here, bring our stroke size down. Let's try yeah, let's do three. Okay, throw your stroke width here. Let's do three for both of those. Okay. Then we're going to duplicate three times. Uh, you can duplicate by right clicking and going to duplicate or you can hit control D. And then there's also a shortcut key up here to duplicate as well. Now we got that. Um, we're going to bring in our background to put into our mushroom. And I think I have that saved somewhere. There we go. Let's do the green. Alright. Let's back up some. You can back up, zoom in and out by hitting the plus or minus on your keyboard. Alright, let's drag it out some. Get the dots to look the way you want. Little polka dots. Make sure your circle fits within the design. Alright, now, here's a neat little trick with in Inkscape again. You can click on your background, hold down Shift, click on your mushroom top, and now you have both selected. So now we're going to right click, and we're going to go to Set Clip. Alright, now that puts that background within your mushroom. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. We're going to get our outline, stick it on top of the mushroom. Get this one, and we're going to go back to our stroke style again. We're going to go up here to dashes and get our broke up lines, make it a little smaller, place it inside our mushroom, and there you go. All right, let's highlight all of it, put it together. Now, this one here, we need to pick a color for our mushroom stem. I like that. Oh, you know what? Let's go back. This will be easier. Let's go ahead and duplicate it. And duplicate it again. Now let's pick a color. Okay, and we need to get rid of this outline. Um, so we can make it a little bit bigger than our outline, just like we did here. So we're just going to go down here, and we're going to hold down Shift, and hit this little X button that means none. So that gets rid of our stroke. Alright, make it a little bigger. Put our outline. So it's sticking out enough for me. And let's uh, zoom in here too so you can see. Alright. Then grab this one. And again, we're going to change our dashes. Change it to the pattern 24. And if you don't want it, you know, you want a different pattern, you can lower your width. It'll give you more lines. Okay. Make it a little smaller. Put it within your mushroom stem. Super cute. Alright, now we're going to highlight all of it. Group it together. Layer it behind your mushroom. And there you go. Method number two. Oh, I got to do a little squigglies. 
all right going back to your tear pencil make sure it's on does your path so we do 29 shape 29 and let's go ahead and change our dashes i think it's right yep okay and just start your little wiggle oh see how it's looking like that it's just because we have the stroke on i'm just going to go here turn our stroke back on holding the shift and hitting the black color and then we need to go over here and hit the non to get rid of that fill color Okay, and we do have our dashes on the custom, so let's put it back on the standard. And there you go. Okay. Now you can play around with it. If you don't like the way that one looks, you can just keep wiggling until you get the right one. I like this one, so let's go with this one. Alright, double click to get your rotating arrows. Click once to get your scaling. Size it right. Bring it on the outside. Duplicate that one, turn it, duplicate this one, put it here, duplicate it, make it a little bit skinnier, and you know, you can try to make them a little bit different. That way they're not all quite the same, you can flip it upside down. If it's too big, you can change the size, but it's all about how you want it to look. Alright, and there you go. There's that method. Alright, now let's do the third method. Pretty much similar to this, but it's going to give you that more rounded look. Like these mushrooms here. And it's super easy too. So we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to go to our circle tool. And it's already set to make that shape that we need. And you could just click on this and it'll make that shape. So let's use that. And then we're going to go over here to our square. We're going to make a little rectangle. And I'm actually going to get rid of that rounded edge by uh, hitting this little circle right here again and pulling it up to make it more of a square. And then we are going to select both of these. Okay, we're going to go over here to path, object to path, and go over here to our nodes tool. We're going to go up here to no man's land again, drag down, we're going to highlight all of our nodes here, and we're going to go up here and change it to make selected nodes smooth. And there you go. Now it made that one a little crazy, I'm not sure why, but it's still cute. We can fix that if we just go into our nodes. We can straighten it out. We can bend it whichever way we need to. That's the neat thing about Inkscape, is you can create anything that you can think of. Alright, now this is a little too rounded or too fat. So let's skinny it up there. And also, um, if you thought this was a little too round for the bottom, you can bring it out some. If you wanted to, you could change it. But yeah, you can just play around with it. Get used to using those nodes. It's really easy. Alright, and there we go. Another cute little mushroom. You can make it larger. You can you know, make it a little bit wider if you wanted to. Okay, so there's the third method. It just makes it a little bit more rounded. This is, has you know, a little bit more sharper lines to it. It's just about however which way you want it to look. And we're going to do the same method here. Duplicate it. Go ahead and duplicate these. Ooh. On me. Okay. Duplicate this one again. So that's going to be our outlines. And I'm going to show you a neat little trick. Alright, let's do the green one again. Bring it in our background. Okay. 
Say you wanted it to be this pink color, but you didn't have that color in this background. You can change that in Inkscape really easy, okay? You're going to have this background selected, go up here to Filters, go up here to Color, and you're going to go here to Color Shift, okay? Now, you're going to click on Live Preview, and I already have it set to make it that color, but yours probably will not be on that setting. Uh, you're just going to leave Saturation alone, and basically you're just going to move this Shift bar, okay? And it's going to change that color of your background. So you'll just find where it starts making it pink and you can get it super close to that same color here. Right. Okay, and then once you hit apply, then you can just hit close. And there you go. Now you have it that pink color to match your other mushrooms. It's just a super cool trick that you can do in Inkscape. Alright, now let's get to our next mushroom. So I'm going to select both. And again, you can do that by clicking on this one and then holding down Shift and clicking on that one. I'm going to right click and do Set Clip. Again, I'm going to make it a little larger. Let's zoom in some here. Put this on top. I need to make this a little thicker. Okay. Do three. Do my dashes. Make it look smaller. Duplicate this on the camera. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay. So, let's do that. Make it nice thicker. This one here, we're actually going to get rid of the stroke. Let's put a color in it first. Shift and hit the X. Make it a little bit better. More stroke back on top. Grab this one over here. Add the little dashes. So we'll, there we go. Make it a little smaller. You're done there. Let's make it just a little bit smaller. Okay. Let's group all this together. Group all this together. Get it behind our mushroom top. Zoom in so we can do our little wiggly. Wiggly doodle lines. Go up here to your pencil. Make sure it's on busier pad. Smoothing 29, shape none. Make sure our fill is off and our stroke is on. And we're going to start doing our lines. We'll have to change our dash back to the normal dash. And just keep doing it till you pick the wiggly you like. Now you could always save the wigglies from before, but I'm just kind of redoing it just so you can see me do it again. Make it a little smaller, make it a little skinnier, and just add on where you like. And there you go. Another cute way of making a doodle mushroom. Zoom out, we'll put them all together so we can see all three. Let's make it a little smaller. And it's just super cute. Three different little methods. They all look adorable. And again, if you wanted to uh, make the larger one and the smaller one, like I have 
here, different colors. Super easy to do that. Let's make it smaller. Add it in. Maybe tilt it just a little bit. And to just change this to the pink color, just on group. Okay, we'll zoom in here. Just make sure everything gets on group that needs to be. Because you're going to grab this background color again. Go up here to your filters. Color. Shift. Live preview. And there you go. It saves your last setting. Hit apply. Close. And there you go. Super cute doodle mushrooms. Three different ways. I hope this video helped you. Um, I hope you enjoyed learning how to make the doodle mushrooms. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below. And just make sure you like and subscribe. And again, thank you for watching.